Hey everybody, Mr. B here and welcome back. So today we are going to talk about one of my favorite things, one of my favorite things, and that is ribs. But we're doing them in a slow cooker. Now, I know, I hear you. I didn't believe it either. In fact, I have wasted money on ribs over the years, putting them in the slow cooker, dumping a bottle of sweet baby rays on top of them, only for them to just come out like soup until I started doing some research. YouTube is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, without further ado, I am gonna show you some tips and tricks how to put these in the slow cooker and then finish them off under the broiler. And if I said you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I'd be lying and I'd be insulting your intelligence, but let me tell you something. If you don't have access to a smoker. Hell, I can't even grill because I'm, you know, quarantined and all of this shit that's going on in the world. This is a fantastic way to get you that taste, so let's go. All right, so let's talk about the ribs for just a minute here. What I've got here are two racks of baby backs. Baby backs are my favorite. I'd say the uh, St. Louis cut is second, and you can keep your damn spare ribs. Um, uh, well, I mean, certain applications, I guess, are exceptions. So, um, yeah, so it's almost eight damn pounds of ribs, so I may have overdone it just a little bit. What we're going to do here is we're just going to slap them on the back side. Now, <clears throat> you guys know that, uh, you know, or maybe you do, maybe you don't. Hell, I don't know, y'all. Um, there's a membrane on the back of a rack of ribs, okay? And if I was going to smoke these or grill them or something like that, I'd try my best to get it off. But because we're slow cooking, I'm going to keep it. This is going to go low and slow enough to where it will eventually melt, but I kind of need it so that it's going to maintain, you know, basically keep it all together, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these down into probably about four ribs each and I'm doing that because you know it's just kind of going to help it fit into the uh into the um into the crock pot but more importantly if I just cut them in half yeah I could probably finagle them into the crock pot um but that means I'm going to eat uh half a rack of rib two pounds of ribs every damn time I sit down this is almost eight pounds so let me get these cut up and we're going to then put these into the bags and do the rub. You know the drill on that. You've seen that a thousand times. And uh, I can leave the recipe again in the description as to the rub because it's all about the rub, people. So we'll move on.
let's give these a go. It smells great. I know this is gonna burn my mouth. Don't care. Do not care. So these are just like fall off the bone, just like you like them. Like really fall off. Hmm. I'm telling you guys, if you can't get to a smoker, use your slow cooker. Just don't overload it with a bunch of liquid, you know? Because these ribs really do render a lot of juice anyway. You don't want to add to that. You want to keep it minimum. There was maybe, what, two and a half tablespoons of liquid going into that. I'd have to look back, maybe even less than that. These are absolutely, Delicious. So when you need a hankering for some ribs and some good comfort, go with these. All right, guys, that's going to be it for slow cooker ribs. Remember, it doesn't matter if it's hometown or midtown. We're going to be cooking it for the lofts. We'll see you next time. Mmm. Mmm.